Um, now we're going to talk about this uh, Antarctica situation. Okay, we're going to talk about this, and I'm gonna spend a little time on this, man, because this is strange. So, um, a mysterious doorway uh, has been discovered in Antarctica. The ice, the ice wall, I guess, via Google Maps, and they saying conspiracy theorists have wild ideas. Now, we've been talking about Antarctica for the past couple of weeks, maybe months now, right? Um, I did a live on this and kind of like explain like what is over there? What is the secret that's over there, right? And some people believe that there are uh, gateways or portals, and through these portals, you know, you have aliens and all kind of stuff whatever you want to believe in right but they're saying that in antarctica they found the doorway over here now um i'm gonna read this article real quick it says google map is a place of great discovery and the latest sighting may be one of the oddest yet in east antarctica just southeast of japanese research outpost shower station eagle eyed users spotted a mysterious doorway uh, which has become the topic of wild theories online with some speculating that it's Big's, Bigfoot's vacation home. See, some people believe that Bigfoot is over there, Sasquatch, whatever you want to call it, um, or a maroon shuttlecraft from Star Trek. Now, I believe that they are, in my opinion, I'm going to just be honest with you. I believe that the government is hiding a lot of um, secret technology over there or weaponry and stuff like that because, like I said, why is it forbidden okay for us to go over here all right once you get to a certain point the coast guard is going to stop you you know what i'm saying you try to fly over there they're going to knock your plane down now um they saying on reddit this calculation let's click on it just for the sake of it this is the um yeah this is actually it here this is uh the location of it that's kind of crazy and it is it's a doorway it looks like a doorway you know what i'm saying you can see on each side here it's like an indentment but that's definitely some some type of portal or door you know what i'm saying definitely some type of portal or door they said um it's all related it's biblical uh okay yeah, they said they not aliens. I mean, it's, it could be it could be the Anunnaki's, could be um, fallen angels. Some people believe that it's demons over there, all kind of stuff, man. But it's the fact that this is there um, should let us know it's something else going on. You know what I'm saying? It's something else going on. Um, just a blown off Boeing door, they saying. One person suggested uh, a reference to a shocking mid-air mishap last january with another jokingly asking wonder if they got doordash there uh what would we do without the the cts john smelly a professor of the vocal angelist vocalologist at the university of like leicester joke to the daily mail regarding the many suggestions offered yeah this is a clear doorway right here like what what else could that be you get what i'm saying like what else could that I'm looking at it, but what else could it be? You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of strange that that's there. Uh, they say, after looking at the coordinates on Google Earth Pro and seeing historical imagery, uh, Bethan Davies, a professor of glaciology at the University of Newcastle, told the publications that the mysterious doorway is an area of fast sea ice just offshore of the coast that it... Uh, that it littered with a series of islands where shallow shallow water exists see this is an iceberg that became grounded is now stuck and melted out in place davy explains you there yeah, but see that's what i'm saying y'all y'all gonna spin the narrative of course y'all not gonna tell us that it's a portal or, or a doorway of course y'all gonna spin the narrative we, why would you tell us the truth and then here's the thing right you're gonna have all of these agents in the comments of um you know most of the social media platforms where people are speaking about this and they're gonna steer the narrative oh it's just a boeing door that something happened and uh yeah yeah it's just it's just an ice cap it's nothing you know what i'm saying we can't even go over there and see this so <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Anybody could tell us whatever they want. Um, Professor Martin Segret, a co-director of the Imperial College London, uh, London's Graham Institute on Climate Change and the Environment, agreed with Davies, telling the outlets, this is simply ice flow around a solid subglacial obstacle, influenced also by melting and refreezing of ice and by uh, catabatic winds. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm not buying it. I think there's they hiding stuff over there. I'm just being honest. I think and I know they're hiding stuff over there. I know this. Um, the ice is quite thin here as evidenced by uh, other outcrops of rock nearby. So the influence of the bed on ice floor will be strong. He continued. It's an interesting pattern, but not unusual or surprisingly uh, glaciology. Smelly added that it looked like a short rock outside um like a short rock ridge outcrop has been exhumed due to a lowering of the ice explaining that the protrusion forms the top of the doorway so they're admitting that it's a doorway and there are two prominent parallel snow tails forming the sides of the doorway the snow tails show you the orientation of the predominant wind direction which is which that's what i'm saying if you look clearly here you can see that there's a path it's like a path going down there and it leads up to this. Now, this is an aerial view. This is all this is basically an aerial view. Like let's let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. Right? We're going to zoom out and they call this shower station. Now, what's in shower station? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Look, they got buildings over there, y'all. Look, it's it's buildings and all kind of stuff over there. Right next to this. Right next to this, man. Right next to this. Let me see what's in shower station. Let's see what let's do a little let's do a little googling. Um permanent research station. Sometimes alternate spelled Sawa Station is a Japanese permanent research station on East Ongo Island in Queen Maud Land, Antarctica. Now, you got people over there that are doing research. These I don't know if these people live here, but um, yeah, this is kind of strange. Uh, let's see, Earth Science Building, Data Processing, Living Quarters, so people live there. Uh, Three-story administration building, water retention dam, a heliport, water storage, fuel tanks. They got everything over there. Historic monument, uh, a con and plaque uh, at the station com uh, commemorates Shin Fukushima. Mm. A member of the 4th Japanese Antarctica Research Expedition who died in October 1960 while carrying out his duties. The cane, which uh, which contains some of his ashes, was erected on 11 January 1961 by his colleagues. So it's a research station right next to this this uh, supposedly door here. That's kind of strange, though. Now let me see something. Let me zoom all the way out. Cause where they said we can't go, they said we can't go. You know, all them stories of Eskimos and all that stuff living over there. But look, I'm trying to scroll down, right? It don't go no more. <laughs> it don't even go no more. It, it just won't even let me zoom out or nothing. It's just the bottom. It, it's the end of the map. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll up, y'all. Y'all can see. <laughs> this is crazy. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, yo. I don't know. Let me see what y'all talking about in the chat. 